Controlling the ankle technique can be very difficult and this double bass drumming technique is really sought after for metal drumming. Once we approach a certain speed on our pedals, we're gonna go from using the full leg motion to the ankle motion. What's really difficult with this double bass drumming technique is that it is tough to control. And in this video, I wanna show you a couple different ways that you can build the ankle technique on your double bass pedals so that you can achieve faster speeds with a lot more ease and flexibility without getting tired very fast. This is what it looks like going from full leg to the ankle technique motion. In layman's terms, we could think of the ankle technique, if you look over here at the camera, more or less like bouncing a basketball or any form of bouncy ball under our foot. So that's basically what we're doing. We're playing off of the rebound that we're getting from the initial strike on the bass drum. Before we go any further into this lesson, I want to let you know that if you want to go deeper with your ankle technique and your double bass drumming, I've got a mini course down in the description below. It's four modules out of my double bass drum and control course. If you want that, it's absolutely free. Just sign up by clicking the link down in the description below. All right, let's get back to the lesson. If we're just playing our full leg motion like this, we're basically just driving all that energy through. If we contract the muscles in our upper legs here in our quad and our hamstring, we can actually lift our foot off the ground if we exaggerate it a little bit here and then kind of bounce it like a basketball. So that's technically what we're doing with the ankle technique, but they're much smaller motions and we're not quite exaggerating our leg height like that. An exercise I want you to practice is like this. Just practice using eighth notes with your full leg motion. And then play consecutive 16th notes. What this is going to do, especially since we're looking at the left leg right now, is it's going to help develop control. The more we repeat this, the more we're going to be able to internalize this with our muscle memory. Let's try it again. You're going to notice that the ankle technique is more or less designed for faster speeds. It's going to be really difficult to play it at tempos under 150 BPM. And the reason for that is because you're just playing off the rebound and it's very difficult to control something like that at a slower tempo. If you're finding that you can't quite nail the ankle technique at slower speeds, then find your comfortable spot and practice it there. And Focus on your left foot because most likely you're a uh, right-footed drummer. You're going to want to focus on that weak limb. Another way you can look into practicing this is just by simply lifting up a leg like this and putting it off the ground, exaggerated obviously, and then playing the other one. I don't want you to flex the leg that's up in the air because what that's going to do is going to it's going to get you used to being contracted with that because we don't want it to be really really tight in the leg we want it to be tight kind of in the groin and in the leg that we're looking to isolate the ankle technique with so just keep that in mind you're going to rotate between both limbs because you want to strengthen them both equally but it is important that you strengthen the left one because you want your feet to alternate with proficiency and with equal amounts of power and volume. If you transition from playing the full leg motion to the ankle motion, you're gonna find it much easier to play longer bursts of faster double bass drumming. And another thing you'll find really easy too is my free mini course down in the description below. It's a double bass drumming control mini course. It's got like four modules in it with a bunch of exercises that you can follow along with the, uh, the on-screen notation. If you'd like to pick that up, then go down and click it. It'll get sent right to you. You'll have lifetime access to it, and you'll learn much more about incorporating those control exercises into your angle technique development. 
The next thing I want to talk about with the ankle technique and developing more control on it is that your pedals are most likely not the issue, but the spring tension will definitely help you with the rebound on this technique. So if you've got very low spring tension on your pedals like I do, you're gonna find that you're gonna have to work a little bit more harder to get the rebound off the skin, especially if your batter skin is tuned pretty low, because really we're playing off of that rebound and we're actually controlling it with our ankle. So what you wanna do is maybe tighten up your bass drum skin a little bit, and if you're miking it or if you don't like the sound of it, you can just tighten up the springs on your pedals. If you go really tight with springs on your pedals, you're gonna find that the rebound is gonna be harder to control because you've got the springs helping you that much more to throw the beater back so that you can catch and release quicker with your feet. So my advice to you is not to have your spring tension too tight and not to have it too loose. You wanna work with the pedal, you don't wanna work against it, and you don't also want a super dead sounding bass drum, especially if you're trying to play faster speeds because you're just gonna be working against yourself. So here's the thing, you can learn all the information you want every day, day in, day out, with all these different YouTube videos, tutorials, and techniques, but what it really comes down to is you putting in the time to actually apply this to your drums and sitting down for more than five or 10 minutes at a time to practice. Because these are really physically demanding, you're gonna to have to physically tell your body and your mind how to play this stuff, okay? It's like weight training. You can't just go into the gym and automatically lift 100 pounds unless you're naturally born to do so. But what I'm getting at is you need to hold yourself accountable. And I know you can do it. I know you can get this technique down. If I can do it, you can too, because quite frankly, I'm not the best drummer in the world. And I really want to encourage you to get this right. So you need to go down into the description below download those exercises and just take my advice because I've been exactly in the same position as you and it's not fun, especially if you wanna play faster stuff or if you wanna play with a better group of musicians or you wanna be a session drummer or anything like that. It's really important that you take this stuff seriously. So if you're serious, I need you to practice and to hold yourself accountable for your practice time. If you wanna learn more double bass drumming technique videos, I'll put a playlist up here and there's a boatload of information there for you to practice as well as the stuff that I just shared with you in this video. Okay, go click it now, go watch some more of my drum lesson videos and be a better drummer, be the best version of your drumming self that you can be. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name's Cam Flurry, and I'll see you in the next one.